Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and this episode is dedicated to filmmakers looking to write their script. So allow me a preamble first, then I'll really get into the nuts and bolts. So there's a plethora of wonderful screenwriting software, Final Draft, Keltex, uh, and so on. But all of these are, you know, you have to pay for them. Now, Keltex, you can do, you know, you can do three scripts um, for free, but you don't get uh, index cards and so forth. Um, also, from my experience, most of these are a little bit tougher to collaborate on, um, which is kind of problematic. So one of the things I started looking into was I, I love Google Docs. Uh, in general, right? I, it's a great way to collaborate in real time. It's a great way to you know have comments and things of that nature, um, and it works a, a really well. Uh, with, and you can have multiple, multiple people, right? And the best part, it's free. So it got me thinking. You know, how can you? How can I write a script through Google Docs? And certainly, you can manually format a script, even in like. Microsoft Word, but that can be a pain in the ass. So what I actually found, and I'm including it in the description down below, it's a link to an extension that you can add. So that way um, you can essentially have Google Docs be your screenwriting software. Now it's slightly cumbersome, I, I, I will admit, right? I've, I've tested it slightly, but it's not exactly perfect. Um, but it is certainly way faster than doing all the tabs and indentations yourself. It has all the standard, you know, uh, scene heading, character, action, dialogue, uh, dual dialogue, that, that type of stuff. Um, it's just not as like, you know, you have to manually kind of punch it in versus like the, the benefit of, you know, like a final draft or Keltex is that it automatically knows like if you're going from, a character, it'll go to dialogue. This, um, this doesn't necessarily do that. You have to, you know, punch it in manually yourself. But it's not like manually hitting tab or whatever else. It's, you know, um, I forget the exact shortcuts, but say like Apple, Apple two or whatever, right? So, and once you kind of get into that rhythm, it's not so bad. And but the best part of all this is that it's completely free. And in my opinion, you can uh, collaborate a lot more easier with multiple people. So, you know, that's the kind of added benefit of this. Uh, you know, and you know, if you're someone that is doing a lot of scripts, you know, as I said, Keltex only gives you three for free, but you, you can't have like index cards and things like that. And you know, um, I think there's a lot of benefit to a final draft and so forth. But it, but if you're really just kind of you know, bare bones, uh, can't really spend an investment quite yet, uh, then, then this link will certainly help you get you started um, and be able to accomplish, you know, writing your script ultimately, which is all what it's all about at the end of the day, right? So I hope this helps you. I hope it, you know, I just wanted to highlight it as a resource beyond just the, the standard ones that already exist, which are the paid ones. Um, and to give you an alternate solution, one that is free. So I uh, hope, hope it helps. Let me know what you think of it. If you do try it out, if you have any questions or comments, by all means, write them down below or hit me up on social media, at Phil Svitek. I'd love to converse with you. Um, this is the stuff that I love kind of talking about, you know, the nitty gritty technique stuff. Um, I, I just find it fascinating. Um, I'm all, you know, for me, I'm always looking for new techniques. And, you know, when I discovered this one, you know, it was like, I have to share this. And speaking of that, if, you think this would benefit any of your friends, by all means, share it with them as well. Um, I certainly would appreciate it. And if you like what I'm talking about, uh, then I would encourage you to subscribe if you haven't already, so that way you get all the various lessons that I put out right when I put them out. Uh, anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.